Hi. In this video today we're going to talk about Sagittarius and Sagittarius bone people. Now 2020 is going to be a very important year for many of us. I call it a historical year. In many ways it is going to be a very interesting year for many Sagittarius born people and I will uh, tell you why uh, in this uh, video. Now Sagittarius is the ninth sign of the zodiac starting uh, from Aries, which is the first one, Sagittarius is number nine. It is a fire sign, just like Aries is a fire sign as well. So between those two, there is something very complementary. And with this one as well, Leo. All fire signs are linked in a beneficial way, just like all earth signs are linked with, uh, with a beneficial, in a beneficial way and the air signs and water signs. Signs that are from the same element are naturally um, complementary. I mean, fire and fire is very easy to mix together. The same applies to air and air, water and water, earth and earth. So whatever is going to happen here or here during the year will have a very good influence on the energy of your sign. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you were born under that sign Sagittarius. So now let's see what the uh, general aspects and transits around the zodiac are going to uh, have as far as influence, important influence, is concerned. First, we'll go back to 2019. We're well, still in, in 2019 right now. Today is the 3rd of September. So 2019 is marked by the transit of Jupiter in Sagittarius. So that's a very important event that only occurs once every 12 years. Now Jupiter is very strong in Sagittarius because Sagittarius is Jupiter's sign. So it means that in that sign, Jupiter gives the most of its influence. And of course, it has had a very strong impact in the lives of many Sagittarian people around the, the world. Now, there was here uh, what we call a difficult aspect uh, between Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces, meaning that during the year 2019 some uh, Sagittarius-born people may have made some mistakes because they have relied too much on what they needed to believe rather than what was reality. So the reality of things must have had an impact on, this, on the way Sagittarius people have looked at uh, what they had and what they had to do to reach their goals and uh, achieve what they wanted to achieve. But because of Neptune, uh, which is not really friendly with Sagittarius people since 2012, which is quite a long time ago, and it is going to last, that influence of Neptune is going to last until 2026. It means that even though Jupiter is going to change sign uh, to uh, travel through Capricorn in 2020 uh, from the 3rd of December 2019 uh, until the 20th of December 2020, Jupiter will transit in Capricorn. So the influence of that uh, difficult aspect between Neptune and Jupiter in Sagittarius will disappear, but the influence of Neptune unto the, uh, that of uh, the, uh, the Sun 
uh, in Sagittarius, if you were born under that sign, it's because the sun was aligned with that sign where you were born. And the earth, of course, is in the center of that system. So uh, the energy of your, your vital energy is represented by your sign Sagittarius. So Neptune may create a, a kind of atmosphere which is not really clear. Confusion uh, and uncertainty is represented by Neptune which also represents what you want to believe, what you need to believe, or what you, uh, you dare to believe, or perhaps what you are afraid to believe. So uh, Neptune is not really friendly with your sign, so you will have to uh, exert a lot of caution in anything that you do uh, on a realistic point of view, uh, and putting your your mind to work in order not to make any mistakes that could, you know, be um, quite quite expensive uh, to uh, repair, uh, and the problems that you may have to resolve may be also quite uh, important. So, uh, although from the third of December this year, 2019, uh, the influence of Jupiter is going to disappear gradually quite quickly actually, you will feel probably not as um, enthusiastic and perhaps not as motivated as you may have been feeling in 2019, but at least that will allow you to make less mistakes perhaps because of that enthusiasm and optimism which may have been too much at times in 2019. So 2020 uh, is a year during which realities represented by that sign Capricorn will probably become the most important thing to uh, watch for and to assess in order to repair perhaps uh, what has not been going so well in 2019. And the fact that you act that way will have also uh, an interesting and probably a positive impact and influence in your finances uh, because Capricorn being the second sign after yours is of course the uh, area that represents your uh, dealing with the realities of life as far as money and material uh, things are concerned. Now, there are other planets that are influencing the uh, overall energy of the zodiac uh, and in relation to your sign, this is going to have, of course, an incidence and influence on what you can do and what you can't do in 2020. Now, you see, uh, I've drawn here Uranus in green, Neptune in red because it is creating some sort of you know, discordance with your sign as we have seen earlier, but Neptune is in good configuration with whatever is in Capricorn here, Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn. Uh, Uranus as well is in good configuration. You see that tri triangle here, that blue triangle, the blue triangle is showing positive energy uh, that you may be uh, able to use financially uh, in the area also of your uh, family and place of residence, anything that is important to you in that area of your life. And also here we have anything to do with work. Uh, so it's probably a year during which, during which great, a great change may occur uh, in, the, in, the, in the manner in which you work. So work is represented by this area of the zodiac according to your sign. And what you change at work may also create some, uh, some uh, confusion. Uh, and of course you will need to adjust to a new environment perhaps, 
or perhaps to a new m a way of working, of doing your, the work uh, uh, and everything else around it, but it will have a, a, a beneficial uh, impact and influence uh, financially, it seems, and also family-wise, uh, as far perhaps as your place of residence is concerned. But you have to be, maybe, we see that green line here, shows that you will not be sure of what you are assessing and doing or having to do. And so you have to make an effort to really do what you have to do when you have to do it instead of letting things go until later because you are not sure, you are a bit scared perhaps to move forward and to adjust to the change which may be a very drastic uh, and perhaps a definitive change because this planet here, Uranus, uh, does the uh, revolution around the zodiac in 84 years and it's been here in Taurus since uh, the 6th of March this year but it it has already had a little bit of influence in Taurus in 2018 uh, that was between uh, the 15th of May until early November 2018 so the change is not something that is going to hit you uh, full blast this year 2020 but it's already in uh, in the process of being assumed as a reality that you will need to assess but this year 2019 today for example Jupiter being still in Sagittarius is creating or reinforcing that green line with your uh, with Uranus and of course it is enhancing also the importance of the change so maybe the change uh, frightens you a little uh, but let things go and don't move too fast too quickly uh, because of that enthusiasm and optimism that Jupiter represents why it is transiting your sign uh, if you are careful enough and if you take things one by one instead of you know trying to do them all at once then when Jupiter changes sign which will be on the 3rd of December this year 2019 then things will become much easier and you will be able to reap the reward financially most probably of the change that has uh, occurred and that has um, been uh, assessed and, and, and de dealt with in 2019 so right now you are in a position uh, of changing what you want to change but take it easy do things really on a on a very objective sort of basis and uh, take care of all the realities uh, that are combined with that change or that will uh, stem from that change if you want that change you will get it in 2020 and it will have a very beneficial influence uh, financially, family-wise and work-wise. And perhaps it is from that work situation that things will become much better family-wise and financially. Or perhaps work, finance and family. Now that we have talked about the slow planets Jupiter 12 years to travel around the zodiac, Saturn 29 and a half years to do the same job, Pluto 248 years, Neptune 165 years and Uranus 84 years. Now we're going to um, see what a much faster planet can produce as far as uh, triggering events that may be represented by the slower planets. Anyway, this is Mars and Mars here is drawn in red first of all because it is what we call the red planet but also because it is transiting your sign and it will transit your sign early in 2019 uh, 2020 sorry 
uh, from the first, 4th of January until the 17th of February, uh, Mars will transit your sign. And during that period of time, of course, Mars is going to make you much more combative, reacting. Uh, activity will be enhanced. You will probably much, feel much stronger, uh, but also most probably a little too uh, impatient and perhaps authoritative with other people around you. And that may uh, produce some conflicts, some uh, incidents, diplomatic incidents in a relationship you have with other people around but also accidents, you know, accidents are very quick to happen. So during that period of time, you will have to apply the brake, not just the accelerator. The accelerator is represented by Mars. So when Mars transits one sign, that person becomes a lot more energetic and a lot more Aries than uh, Sagittarius, for example, because Mars represents that sign, Aries. So Aries is the, uh, Mars, sorry, is the god of war. And if you need to fight during that period of time, of course, you will feel much stronger. But because of that uh, configuration here, that red line uh, stemming from Neptune to Mars or from Mars for, uh, to Neptune, you may also have a tendency to react too quickly, too sharply, too aggressively perhaps also uh, on the basis of some intuition or presumption, not really uh, taking too much attention to what is real, but you will probably function according to what you feel inside. And if you don't look at reality as such, you will also make mistakes at work and it may also have an impact in your family relationship because as we've seen earlier, uh, this sign here, this area of the zodiac represents your dealing with family environment. So take it easy during that period of time and things should be okay, but don't, you know, don't take any risks. Actually, if I were you, I would sort of, you know, lay back and relax if I can uh, in order to avoid uh, problems that may arise because of too much enthusiasm, too much um, impulsiveness. This is what Mars represents. Next, Mars is going to transit in Capricorn, naturally. After one sign, it is the other sign and the other, and the other, and the other. When Mars transits in Capricorn, I've drawn that in red as well, because actually it's going to enhance the energy of Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto transiting in Capricorn at that time. Now, Mars represents uh, the ability, the capacity, the potential that we have to decide and to apply what we need to apply to a situation in order to get something that we are perhaps aiming at, wishing for, or desiring, or whatever. And in that area of the zodiac, next to your sign, uh, we are in the area of the realities of life, money, material matters, and all that, all those things. Anyway, Mars will allow you from the 17th of February until the 31st of March for about six weeks. Mars will make you much more uh, decisive in the way you act and react according to what you need, what you want to impose, what you want to get financially for sure. Uh, personally as well because Jupiter represents your sign and here Pluto represents the past so it has to do it will have to do it will have something to do with the past and it is probably in the past that you will get some information that will be very useful 
to uh, imply some sort of uh, decision in order to uh, make things better for you financially because Saturn here represents that sign Capricorn and it does represent then the area of material uh, relationship with life in you uh, in, in the you know the manner in which you you act and react uh, on a daily basis I would say but if, if you have an important project and if that change here that we mentioned earlier uh, represented by Uranus here and if uh, intuition, inspiration and sensitivity is also who are also uh, parts of the situation and may be helpful for you to, uh, uh, to, to get what you want to get during that period of time you will be able to make some very important decision and to act according to what you want to change and that change may very well occur during that period of time or at least you will have decided exactly what you want to get and it is perhaps a few months later as we will see in a minute uh, that you will begin to reap really the rewards from uh, all the efforts that you would have put in in the past. And then Mars will transit in Aquarius and as you see here I've drew, drawn it in blue together with Saturn because Saturn is going to enter in Aquarius on the 23rd of March for a few months because it's going to go back in Capricorn on the 3rd of July but for this few months Saturn will be here in Aquarius which is quite interesting because you see the, it, it creates a blue line with your sign so it, it will enhance the energy of your sign and make you much more efficient uh, at dealing with relationships and whatever uh, you have to tell, you have to express uh, this area of, your, of the zodiac according to your sign represents your uh, capacity to communicate with other people. It also represents your intellect and what, what you have in store, what you have stored in it as far as knowledge is concerned and you will be able to use that knowledge to communicate with other people, to travel, to, to meet other people and to, uh, to learn many things as well. But that transit of Saturn will definitely start for a number of, for about two, uh, a bit more than two years. It will begin really on the 18th of uh, December 2020. So uh, uh, then it will be very interesting for you in 2021, 2022 and a part of 2023. But we'll talk about that later on next year when I do these videos again. Anyway, the conjunction between Mars and Saturn will occur early in April in, in Aquarius. And in Aquarius it's creating that blue line with your sign, meaning that you will be able uh, to reap probably some rewards from what you have decided before when Mars was in Capricorn and uh, it's like you are going to feel freer to, uh, to do things and to move forward even though the change here may become a little bit difficult to handle for many reasons because perhaps you'll have much more work to do uh, much more responsibilities to uh, face up to and so on uh, it may make you a bit more nervous and impatient as well but globally I would say on a general basis you should benefit from that conjunction between Mars and Saturn because that conjunction will allow you to use the brake pedal represented by Saturn and the accelerator pedal represented by Mars but while the conjunction occurs between say the 1st of April until uh, mid-April, take it easy because when those two uh, um, planets are conjunct it means that the accelerator pedal and the brake pedal are on top of one another and that makes it difficult to drive a vehicle when the, top, the, the accelerator pedal is on top of the uh, brake pedal or the reverse. So take it you know, quite easy 
uh, during that period of time because if you don't you will probably not know exactly what to do when when to do it you will lose time and then you will want to catch up with that time that you've lost and then you will of course enhance all the risks uh, of going too fast too quick uh, and you won't catch up with time because once time is gone it's gone you won't get it back that's for sure <coughs> C'est vraiment nul. Hein. Je vais avoir à tout regarder systématiquement. So, just take it easy during that period of time, for about two weeks in April, even though this conjunction will have a beneficial effect on your sign and on the sun, the energy, the vital energy is represented by the sun, and it will be quite, you know, enhanced and in a good way by this conjunction at the same time just you know take it easy make it make sure that you uh, uh, have everything planned correctly and um, objectively in order not to make any mistakes and not to lose any time this is what actually saturn may have as far as its influence is concerned it is to make one lose time and if you lose too much time then you will want to accelerate and it is when you accelerate that you will enhance also the uh, risk of incidents errors or even accidents so take it easy but afterwards when uh, mass continues on its transit in uh, aquarius until uh, so it will start on the 31st of march and it will end on the 15th of May, then uh, by the 15th of April, around that, that time, um, Mars will become much more uh, interesting for, for your sign to uh, enhance your energy, your good energy, and make your actions and decisions much more efficient, uh, efficient and, uh, and source of satisfaction. Then Mars is going to transit in Pisces from the 15th of May until the 29th of June. And you see in Pisces there is Neptune. We talked about Neptune earlier on in this video. Mars is going to enhance the energy of Neptune. That's its mission, if I can say. Um, Mars is going to enhance also the tendency that we all have at times and that you will most probably have during that period of time here for about six weeks will enhance your tendency to act and to react on an intuition or a presumption and not really uh, taking into consideration the realities of life that are surrounding your intuition or the person concerned, or the situation concerned, and so on. And if you do that, you will make mistakes for sure. And that will enhance also uh, the potential, uh, the potential conflicts within your family surrounding, represented by that sign according to yours, in around the zodiac. So uh, you will have to sort of, you know, try not to be too impulsive and not too impatient with other people around and to make sure that you don't make any mistakes otherwise there could be some accidents around the home as well uh, if especially if you have some work to do around your place of residence uh, that may uh, trigger some you know some nervous reactions on your part and impatience may make you uh, too um, to, to worry to finish a job uh, rather than do the job correctly and perhaps also preserve your safety or security. So, you know, you'll have to really make an effort during that period of time uh, to uh, lay back and relax if necessary and do anything that you have to do in an orderly manner rather than, you know, try to do it all 
in one gasp. And then Mars is going to transit in Aries. Aries is Mars's sign. I didn't draw it. I didn't draw it in uh, in red. I drew it in blue. Why? Because Aries is a fire sign, and yours is a fire sign as well. And there is a beneficial link, a complementary link between fire signs. So, during the transit of Mars in Aries, Sagittarius born people will be much more active, reactive, but in a good way. They will be able to adjust to the situations very quickly and they will be much more efficient in the way they act and react according to the situations in which they are in where in which they are uh, they are or will be then that transit is not going to last for six weeks just like the others here they going to, it is going to last for six months until the 7th of january 2021 so that's a very important transit because it's half a year six months is half a year and during those six months, Mars will really give you the strength, the uh, willpower and the energy to uh, put yourself in front of the line uh, and win the game, whatever it is, and uh, obtain the better results that you want and need to obtain in your life. Venus is going to transit your sign. That's good news. It happens about once a year, sometimes twice. But in 2020, you will have to wait until the end of the year to benefit from the beautiful transit of Venus in your sign. It is going to begin on the 16th of December 2020 and it will end early in January 2021. During that period of time, for about three weeks, Venus will enhance your charm, your vibration, and you will be more attractive. You will also have a better uh, way of looking at things in life in general. People will have a better uh, also approach and better feeling about you. So it is a time during which you could, of course, benefit from um, luck, for example, if you are a gambler or if you want to uh, try your luck in any way you want. Uh, if you're an artist, this uh, transit will also enhance your creativity and also the, um, the exchange and the the liking of other people of what you do uh, so it is a, a oh it's always very nice to know when Venus transits one sign and if you take note of those dates in your you know diary maybe you will get prepared for something that may happen and that may have a very nice incidence in your life uh, as, as soon as Venus enters in your sign so as soon as the 16th of December and that's promising a, a, a nice Christmas for example because we are uh, towards the end of the year uh, so if, if you have a, a project uh, that you maybe travel or if you uh, if you want to invite some family or some friends if you want to to get you know pleasures uh, to, to, to enjoy the pleasures of life then during that period of time I'm pretty sure you will be able to and that will have a very nice influence on a daily basis because you will feel much better in general. It can be your health, it can be also your uh, situation uh, as a whole. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more advice, more information about what I've just said, according to your chart and not just according to your sign then 
don't hesitate to visit my website the address is here and I will only be too happy to help in any way I can. Thank you very much and I wish you a very happy 2020. I'm pretty sure even though the first half may be a little, a little up and down, I'm pretty sure that the second half of the year should, you know, make you much more efficient and su successful. Thank you very much once again and all the very best in 2020. Bye for now.